what happens is that you're having to strap onto the panels. So guys, if you're looking to get gutters for your tubular metal buildings, let me show you guys what we do. So check this out. Typically for this project, we have a residential gutter system, and that's what we do for all our tubular buildings. And so in regards to colors, we have a lot of color options that really match pretty closely to metal that we select. So in this case, what we have is a white downspout as well as a gray gutter. So if you take a look, this is a pretty nice combo. Normally standard is just one single color, but you're able to select two different colors. In this case, I really, really like this. Check this out. Now, the reason why we also use the residential gutter system is because a lot of our tubular builds are a lot more for residential builds. And so it really matches along with what you have in your home. So in the homes, this is very, very common in the homes and we build it for these tubular buildings. Now. For tubular buildings, typically along the fascia, which is like the eaves, there's normally not a something solid for the gutters to be attached to. So if you add gutters later on, what happens is that you're having to strap onto the panels. After a certain period of time, the weight of the debris, like water and leaves, anything that accumulates there, starts pulling onto the panel and ripping on it. So what we do is we plan for this. We actually run additional material, uh, like tubing material that runs all the way on the sides of the eaves. That, that's where our gutters get attached to and also strapped to. That makes it a very solid gutter system that will last a lifetime. So um, that is something to keep in mind when you get gutters with us. It's not just the gutter system, but it is the preparation to make sure that it fits and combines very well. And the other thing that we do is, standard for our tubular builds, if you do not have a gutter system, we normally leave about three to four inches of overhang on the panel over the uh, trim or the fascia. And so that is actually not uh, very well for, for this type of gutter system. You kind of just want a one to two inch so that's another thing that we do to make sure that, you know, the tubular building is prepared to receive this residential gutter system, which looks spectacular. And so I'll leave you guys to check it out. 